from the Tour Nation Production Studios, located in the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Studio of Dreams at Tour Nation Productions. Reporting from the Studio of Dreams located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. Welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Ethan Keller. And I'm Aiden Carcano. To get things started, as always, here's today's edition of Time Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. It's Time Rewind for March 27th. Disasters dominate the headlines. In 1964, Alaska is devastated by the so-called Good Friday earthquake, the most powerful in U.S. history. The major problems now facing the devastated areas to treat the injured, provide heat, water, and food for the living, find the dead, clear the rubble. The deadliest accident in the history of civil aviation takes place in 1977. Two Boeing 747 jumbo jets collide on a foggy runway on Tenerife in the Canary Islands. 583 passengers and crew are killed. At the Academy Awards on this day in 1973, Marlon Brando captures Best Actor honors for his performance in The Godfather, but boycotts the event and rejects his Oscar. A year earlier on this day, Elvis Presley records what becomes his last major hit. Burning Love reaches number two on the singles chart. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mandel. Ball High Prom this year is May 4th. Join me and the rest of GISD in supporting our students by sponsoring a table. Contact Emily Dabney for more details. Now let's shake this morning's headlines from newspapers across America. Here's today's official Good Morning Ball High Picture of the Day. If you have an interesting photo that you would like to be considered as a future picture of the day, send it to Mr. Dudas. We'll be happy to feature it. And for even more photos, check out the photo album. Go to Google and search Ball High Photography. Let's check in and see what's going on in G-Ball Sports. Let's check the latest weather forecast. If you would like to join the K-Tour, the Tornado team, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Set furnishing for Good Morning Ball High provided by Star Fine Furniture. For additional content, stay tuned to part 2 of Good Morning Ball High immediately following today's program. Be sure and stay tuned at the conclusion of today's program for part 2 of Good Morning Ball High. And for even more Time Rewind, check it out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I'm Ethan. And I'm Aiden. Wishing you a terrific day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs> March 27, 1997. In Nashville, Dexter King, son of Martin Luther King Jr., meets with James Earl Ray in prison for assassinating the civil rights leader. I just want to ask you, for the record, um, did you kill my father? No, no, I didn't. 
Dexter King tells Ray, I believe you and my family believes you. The King family urges a new trial for Ray before he dies the following year. 2002. Comedian Milton Berle, Uncle Milty, television's first true superstar, dies in Los Angeles at age 93. A decade earlier, Burrell, in an Associated Press interview, dismissed the common claim that he stole jokes. I do not steal jokes. I just find them before they're lost. 1998. The FDA approves the drug Viagra, made by pharmaceutical company Pfizer to treat impotence in men. And 1963. Yeah, I'd like to see my work be considered mainstream, actually, without changing it any. I'd like to see like the mainstream catch up with me. Director and screenwriter Quentin Tarantino was born in Knoxville, Tennessee. Among his films, Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, and the Kill Bill movies. Today in History, March 27th, Mike Gracia, The Associated Press. Today's word is exhort. It means to urge or warn about something. This is usually used when someone's really trying to get you to take action to protect yourself against something that's going to happen. Let's say there's a huge hurricane coming, uh-oh, and the newscasters are exhorting you to go out, get your supplies, protect yourself. They're warning you. Or maybe in the airport, you know, over the announcements, they're always exhorting you, don't leave your suitcase alone. That's the same thing. They're urging you to do this or else there's going to be consequences. Exhort, to warn or to urge about something bad that's going to happen. Hi, I'm Micah here with today's edition of the One Minute Award Winning Movie Theater. Today's movie is Noises, created by Nathan C. and Jaden Swee. Noises shows two strangers going about their days in a similar fashion when they suddenly cross paths. I liked this film because of the coloring. Now, enjoy Noises. Tell me, Caleb, what is the A-Team? Well, Dr. Neighbors, if you have to ask, then you're not a part of it.